Okay, so I've got some hands on a pretty interesting power supply that I really, really liked. Um, so it's claiming to be a 650 watt power supply, right? So uh, there, 650 watts claims that it has two 12 volt power rails, both supporting 300 watts. Hmm, interesting, right? Uh, but it's really, really light for. Uh, I don't have a skill with me right now, but seriously, this feels lighter than... Okay, fine, they're about the same weight. So what I have here is basically, I've got it plugged in, right? And this is basically just um, a breakout board, right, for the 24 pin. So if you look in it, right, I'm going to try taking this apart later, just to have a look at what's inside, because seriously, I don't think it's much. Not exactly the best idea to... Uh, Turn it on, have a look at it, then take it apart, but uh, we're going to do that anyways. Okay, so uh, I've got it plugged in, right, the power cord, it's powered, so there is a switch here. And okay, so the cost of this is about 17 ringgit, so that's about under 20 USD, which is crazy cheap if it really is a 600 power watt supply. Uh, so, but you get these um, honey and mustard cables. Catch up my mustard, sorry. So what you get is a really terrible 8 bit. Right, and then here you've got two Molex. Oh no, one Molex and one Seda. Then you've got your okay, you got another 8 pin. Then you've got a CD and another Molex and another Seda. Wait, so which is the CPU, oh no, this is a 2 plus, uh, 4 plus 4, so this is the CPU power, uh, chipset, CPU, CPU, and this is the, yeah, uh, 6 plus 2, yeah, okay, so that's that, okay, so I'm just going to turn it on, right, and I'm going to turn this on, so, oh, you can see it gets power, and you can see that the fan spins. It's pretty quiet. I'm gonna shut it for a while. And get a better look at the internals because the fan is spinning. And look at how tiny those heat sinks are. Hmm. Right, so it gets so this is an intake, right? As expected, and this is just pushing air out of the case. It does draw a decent amount of air. Okay, so we're gonna turn it off. Turn this off. Pull out the cable. Don't need that. Right, so we're gonna turn this back on. Uh, and try to drain it to whatever extent I can. I don't think it's really feasible, but never mind, we'll try it anyways. Okay, then we're gonna try to take this apart. So, yeah, let's see, how do we get into this? On top, so we've got four screws on top. Uh, Warranty seal, screw that. Let me see if we can find a screwdriver. So yeah, I do know that this is a terrible power supply, but I need it to power like a Core 2 Duo, right? And like just a couple of hard drives, so 
yeah I don't think it's that big a deal for my use case but you know for anyone who actually wants to run anything that requires a decent amount of power just skip this let's get that cut so there goes the warranty right so that's Fan is from. Uh, it's a brushless fan, the 1300 RPM. I don't know if that camera can pick it up. 12 volts, 0.12 amps. So let's just plug in there. Kind of flimsy cables, but yeah, okay. Fine. So this really looks like one of these internals, but kind of like less beefy actually. So honestly, I have no real idea how to de deconstruct the power supply, but yeah, for those who knows, then we've got two tiny heat sinks, then we've got uh, two caps here, All right? Uh, transformer. Another two tiny transformers and a bunch of cats everywhere else. So that's connected uh, through the holes. Just bunch together. I suppose that works. Yeah, that's that. Okay. So it works. I have nothing to say about it, but it's super cheap. Hopefully, you know nothing happens when I plug into the system but so far testing it with this breakout board it works I'll update you if something happens if not well I think this is where the video ends thanks for watching